for a quick class where we're going to um, do a few exercises that will help you um, switch on and activate your pelvic floor. You know, in Pilates we often talk about having a strong core. You may have heard that before. But you know, your core and the pelvic floor work together and even when we're working on arm exercises or leg exercises, we always use our center to kind of stabilize ourselves. So um, really important exercises, they're not big and flashy, but it's sort of like um, internal work and they, they're really important to help you progress further. So let's just start like this on our knees. Um, you could stand up if you don't like being on your knees. And we're just gonna start with some stretches, a quick stretch to start. So just bring the arms down and bring them up over your head. Sort of lift up out of your waist. That's it, and then bring the arms back and down. And again, just lift up the arms, breathe in, and then exhale as the arms go back and down. That's it, and again, nice deep breath in. Let your shoulders drop down, and then back and down. This time, lift up the arms, and we'll just hold them there. And then you just hold on to one wrist, and you lift up that arm a little bit, so it sort of tips you over to the side, just a little bit, and then come back up, hold on to the other wrist, Lengthen that arm, glide over to the side, and we'll do one more on each side. Up, so try not to shift all your weight into one knee or one foot if you're standing. So we're just moving you know, from the ribs up, stretching that upper body, and then back, and then bring the arms wide and all the way back and down. Okay, now let's just think about your pelvic floor. So I want you just to imagine your pubic bone and your tailbone yeah, and then um, sitting bones which are sort of like either side so you could almost imagine like a diamond shape. And what we can do is we can draw the, um, imagine drawing the pubic bone and the tailbone together and the sitting bones drawing in and up. Okay, So it's a definitely a feeling of lifting up and then you just relax that feeling, take a breath in. And then when you breathe out, you draw in from the front and the back, the sides, and you're just lifting up. And then you gently release as you take a nice deep breath in and let everything sort of feel wide, almost like you're sort of getting heavier there. And then exhale in from the front and the back, they draw together, in and up. And then release and down. And again, in and up. Exhale will help you feel that. And then release, sort of get wider. So it's imagine, when you use your mind, you can really imagine what you want to happen. And it will help your body do what you want. <laughs> and then release. Okay, we'll do one more. Inhale. I mean, exhale. <laughs> and then, yeah. So if you haven't got the breathing quite right, don't worry about it, just um, think of the, the movement. Exhale to lift, inhale to drop. Okay, now we're just going to add a little movement, same kind of feeling, but what you do is you just tip back and you can imagine your sitting bones wide there, um, a wide feeling at the back of the pelvis. And then when you come up, that's when you can draw in and up and you might feel like you could even do like a little squeeze here. Okay, so inhale. Everything's wide, and then exhale, you draw everything in and up. So inhale, and exhale, in and up. That's it. Ex inhale, <laughs> and exhale. That's it. Little lift, little squeeze, and back. That's it. Good, we just do two more. I don't know about you, but I can I can really feel the work, even though I'm barely moving, but it's an inside job, these ones, these exercises, and relax. Okay, now we're gonna take a lie down on our back. So you just um, have your feet on the ground with your knees bent, and then you just have a little lie down. Hands can go beside you. And what we'll do now, just let your shoulders relax, is you're just going to tip your pelvis forward and back. Okay, So you just tip the tailbone so it feels heavy and you've got a little, made a little arch in the lower back there. 
and then you press your lower back down into the mat. So you tip this way and this way. Okay, so it's a gentle move. It's quite small. So you don't have to go um, not over exaggerated. Maybe I go a little bit bigger than what I, should, what I would normally do, just so that you can see, but it's just a very gentle little tuck. And now we can think about the pelvic floor. So when the tailbone reaches away from you, you've got that little arch in the low back, you breathe in, and then when you press your lower back into the mat, you feel that little drawing in and up. And again, breathe in, and then exhale, little pelvic floor lift as the pelvis tips towards you. So keep that going. Quite a lot of thought involved if you haven't thought to activate um, down here before. Sometimes I even imagine that when the pelvis tips towards me, it's almost like my pelvic floor lifts and it just draws the bones of my pelvis towards me. So it's almost like this pelvic floor or this core just kind of pulls everything this way gently and then I release. So the breath again, if you want to keep thinking about that, is inhale when the tailbone's heavy, exhale when your lower back's pressing into the ground. Inhale, and exhale. Good. And then just back to being even. We're going to continue with that kind of move, but roll all the way up into a bridge. So you, you might like to pop your hands beside you now. And all you do is you breathe in to get ready. And when you breathe out, you tip the pelvis towards you, just like you practice, but then you push into your feet, stand up on your legs and lift your hips up. All right, so then you roll your body down. So it's just rolling through each part of your spine all the way back down. And again, tuck the pelvis, roll your body up, stand up on your feet, strong legs and then roll your body all the way back down and again tuck the pelvis lifting up and rolling down now let me give you a cue to help you feel your pelvic floor working in this so tip the pelvis imagine your pubic bone an imaginary line from your pubic bone to your belly button and as you lift up this this connection here Okay, so it will help you feel this, this internal lift. And then when you roll down, you touch down and you let everything relax. Okay, and then again, tuck the pelvis, pubic bone to belly button. It's this internal kind of lift, hips go up, and then you roll back and down. That's it. So you don't have to go up super high. It doesn't make it more effective. Okay, we're just thinking of a straight line from the shoulders to the knee and I'm, I'm keeping this connected, my ribs and my pelvis, I'm all in one straight line rather than popping everything out. So I'm going to try and hold the stability and that's what we want. We want to feel stable through our pelvic floor so that um, <clears throat> you feel secure. It makes um, exercise and activity much easier when you do develop all these muscles to keep you strong. Okay, come on down. The next thing is a little leg lift. So you pop your hands here on your hip bones. You're going to imagine a line from one hip bone to the other straight across and you keep that really steady. Okay. Then you just float one knee up over the hip. It's called tabletop because you imagine you're, you're like a tabletop there. Pop that leg down and then the other side and down so while I'm just marching one leg up and down my hips are staying nice and steady and my pelvic floor is working and um, my core muscles to keep that steady so even though it doesn't look like much if I can move my leg and not shift around through my pelvis that's showing that I'm I'm activating my core. That's good. So we can progress a little from here. Keep going. And if you find it's too much, just go back to this one. So what we can do is just lift up one leg. And then 
I always feel like the belly button drops down towards the spine so that I can float the other leg up too. And then I put the first leg down and then the second leg down. And then again, just one leg up, I drop the belly button so I feel strong. And then I lift up the other leg, then one leg down, the other leg down. So we're just going up, tummy in, up, down, down, up. Now always activate first, then move the body down. So it's just like a sequence of activity. So if I try and lift up my leg without pulling in, I'm going to tip and I won't feel um, sure of myself. So it's just learning to go, okay, tummy on. That's what I need to lift that leg up. <laughs> down, down. But these ones are really good. Practice these through the week and you'll find yourself, you'll find it easier. If your lower back is feeling sore, you could put a little towel in the small of your back there or just go back to the single leg. Okay, hold it there. Then you just pop your feet together, your knees together, hands beside you. And we're just going to tip the knees over to one side, but you keep your shoulders down. So you don't go so far that it tips you all over. And just the hips up, and then you just bring the legs back over this way. And then just bring it back. That's it. So I'm thinking now of my side waist working. So as the knees go over, I'm going to activate the side waist to pull everything and draw everything back over this way and then I use the side waist and draw it back okay. over this way and then I'm dragging the pelvis back using my waist. If you like to think of the breath because breath can help you with movement, it's inhale over and then exhale as you draw back, okay? I'm keeping my feet stacked one on top of the other, my shoulders down. That's it. Last one here. And then all the way back. And then we're just going to roll over to the side to hop up. So just roll one over and help yourself up. So good job with those and remember that these exercises are fundamentals but they are super effective and then once you get these right then you can keep progressing. So go back to this and give it another go and, and watch yourself improve.